right, let's do the what? next one. Uh, now, what we can do in example number six, we had some, uh, we had a graph that goes above and below the x-axis. Whoops, wrong one. So let's uh, let's try to figure this one out. Um, example number seven wants us to take the function x times cosine of x and calculate the area under the curve. So I just want to throw the graph up here. And clearly, uh, and it wants us to go from negative three to three. All right, so here's the deal. If I do that, if I integrate from negative three to three of x cosine of x dx, I can get a number, and if I plug it in the calculator, it'll spit out the positive and negatives. All right, so if I go second trace, <laughs> option number seven, and I take the lower boundary of three and the upper boundary of three, um, as you can see there, I've got positive and negatives, and then it's zero. Because it's symmetrical about the origin, it's zero. I have just as many positive as I do negative, and they kind of cancel each other out. But clearly, there's some area there. So if the application calls for me finding out the stuff shaded in blue, in other words, how much area is taken up by the stuff shaded in blue, how can I do that on the calculator? Here's a little trick. What did I do on the last problem? I used the absolute value, right? So I can do that right now. If I just take that same function, and I'm going to do it separately. So if I just take that and put it in absolute value brackets, when we take the absolute value of something, it makes everything positive, right? So if I take this and I put it in absolute value brackets, whoops, I hit the wrong thing. Uh, the exact same equation, x times cosine of x. Whoops, that's not it. Let's do that again. Oh, I, I see what I did. I hit the wrong button. Uh, x times cosine of x. And I graph that. But what it does is it takes all the negative values and makes them positive. So it takes all the stuff below. Don't leave that. It takes all the positive stuff, or all the negative stuff, and makes it positive. So now when I go to trace it, if I hit 7, and I do from negative 3 to 3, I'll get all of the same area. <coughs> Whoops, I did the wrong function. Oh well. Let's do number seven. Let me choose the right function. All right, now negative three to three. And now it'll shade the stuff on the top instead of the bottom, and the whole thing will be positive. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.